Dans le monde, dans le monde. I'm heading to Sydney tonight again for literally like exactly 24 hours, I think, again. I feel like I have done so many 24-hour trips to Sydney recently and I think I'm going to be back in another couple of weeks, but hopefully for a little bit longer that time around. JHD have invited me for a little like launch dinner for the new hair dryer straightener tool that they released. So I've of course said yes. I'm so excited to go. I've got the cutest dress. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you guys would have seen already what dress I'm wearing. But yeah, I'm just really excited to be going. I'm excited to see everyone meet some new people. I'll quickly show you guys what I'm wearing as well. This top I'm pretty sure is just from Zara. My shorts are white fox with the matching jacket. Shoes are easy. Not be bothered getting ready because I'm getting my hair done as soon as I get there and I have to start getting ready and do my makeup as soon as I get there. I'm gonna head off now because I need a coffee so bad. I am so tired, it's way too early, but let's go. Just checked in to the, ho the, the hotel, <laughs> um, to the hotel, and we're staying at Overlo in Woolloomooloo. One of my favorite restaurants in Sydney is actually right downstairs. It's called China Doll, but sadly, I won't actually be able to eat there, even though it's right there. So you guys, the room, real quick. How nice is this view, by the way? It's such a nice day today. The room is like a loft style room. So down here, there's like the couch. You know, little dining area, mini bar. There's actually another bathroom down here as well. And then TV. They actually also left some goodies out for me. So there's a little GHD robe, a card, a hairdryer. We have some Charlotte Tilbury products as well, which is really nice. I don't actually have either of those things. Um, Paula's Choice Hyaluronic Acid Booster. And this mask right here from Airy Day. And then you go up and the bed's up there. And we get up here and we've got the bed. You can see down there. And then there's another bathroom in here with the shower. I've actually got to start getting ready now because I booked a hairstylist to come and do my hair. And he's going to be here at like 3.30. I didn't actually know until this morning, but you actually actually have like hairstylists here to do our hair if we want to. But I'd already booked... Andy to come so I don't know um and it's obviously like too late to cancel I literally found out this morning I actually need to call up downstairs as well and s oh the freaking phone's up here I need to see if they have a steam up because you just see my dress it got all um I need to get a steam up because my dress is silk or it's like satin and I can't use a normal iron on that. Hi, I was just calling to see, do you guys happen to have a steamer by any chance? I know you guys have um, irons, but my dress is like a, like a satiny silky material. So I was, yeah, do you guys have any steamers? Okay. All right, thank you so much. Sorry about that. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Guys, I'm the worst at phone calls. My boyfriend always laughs at me because he's like, you always like stutter. Because I do, I overthink what I'm going to say in my head and then I'm like, I don't want to sound like rude. So then I'm like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Everyone always laughs at me when they hear me like talk to people on the phone. I'm just getting ready now. The lighting here is actually really good. I'm just sitting on the floor in front of the window downstairs. But yeah, I'm getting ready now. It's actually only 2.47 and I've basically finished my base. So I've got quite a bit of time. As I said, I'm here for an event with GHD. I feel like when I did my intro this morning, I was like, 
half asleep. And to be honest, I'm like a little bit anxious today. I actually never really get anxious for events, but I just feel like because I've actually never worked with a brand before. And also, I feel like when I come to Sydney for events, I'm always here with like Ali and stuff. So this is definitely out of my comfort zone, but it's always been my dream to work with GHD. So I was just like really excited that they even invited me to their event, considering I've actually like never worked with them before but i've always loved their products since i was younger like my last straightener that i had that was from them was like the first hair straightener that i actually know so i had my first ever hair straightener from them which my dad actually bought for me and my sister to share and that was when we were like 15 and then i was like 18 moved out of home so obviously couldn't take the hair straightener because we were meant to share it so i bought myself a new one and then i literally had that one up until like last year so like four or five years. The hair tools just last forever. But anyways, I don't know why I'm babbling on about that. But I guess it's kind of just like a full circle thing. And I'm just really excited and grateful to be here. I'm using the Natasha Denona bronze palette. This palette is so pigmented. I haven't used it in ages. Kayla was meant to do my makeup today. So I'm so sad that she's not because... I was so excited for, do, for her to do my makeup. She always does the best job with my makeup. And it's always nice, I feel, to get your makeup done by someone else and not have to worry about it. But I'm going to see her soon anyway. Actually, Kayla is going to be going to the event tonight. Kayla Tavares. So I'm excited to see her. I'm going to go and get some pics before at Crown. Hopefully there's not much traffic. I haven't seen her in ages. Like, she's got a full-blown kid now. Which is crazy. I haven't seen her in so long. Just ordered some butter because butter's... Have you had butter? Butter with chicken. No, butter like that um, that Just branch, me. butter. They do like the fried chicken and stuff? No. Oh, it's my favourite. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Okay. Well, you know what I mean? Hey, this everyone. is Andy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave his Instagram on the screen. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much for your call. Hey, I haven't seen you in forever. <laughs> oh my god, why was there really was... like more you than the blonde? Was I know. Me? When was the last time I saw you? Thailand. Alrighty guys, I'm all ready now. This is the dress that I got from Jazz, dressed by Jazz on Instagram. I'm wearing my Tom Ford heels. Take a bag. Thank you. Kayla looks stunning. Melanie, the label. <laughs> Alini shoes. You look so good. Gucci little pads. Little this is my first time in a Tasha Whitmore vlog. Is it? I vlogged Thailand. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. And because you left early as well, remember? Why did I leave early? Someone's birthday. Oh. So I'm with Kayla in the car. Have we even spoken to the vlog properly since you've been with The me? last time we spoke was at the hotel, which is kind yeah. of understandable because we're getting fixed anyway. Yeah, so we just went to um, Crown and Brangaroo to get some photos and we got some really good ones. Thanks to Kayla. Mm -hmm. They're really cute. I think I need to pay you for those, so I'm okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're on the way to the event now. We're in the Uber. How far does it say we are? I think we should be just like five minutes away, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, Six yeah. We get there. We're getting there half an hour early because I've been getting to events really early. But I'm really all about just like, like being a good, um, you know, good sport. I was yeah. like, we're half an hour early, we should, we finished taking our pics, I was like, we should get some, maybe a drink and then head off. She's like, we need to go now. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. We need to yeah. be early, so we're getting there half an hour early. Which is you good. just don't know with Sydney traffic though, like it says it'll take that long and then it keeps adding time and True. then you're like. That's what happened to us on the way to pics. Yeah. Sydney, so. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're on the way. I'm hungry. Let's see, a little bar. Have you eaten today? Um, I ordered butter. Have you eaten butter before? Yes. Andy never has. I ordered it to the room and he's never eaten it. It's so good. Their burgers are good too. Oh no, I love their tenders and the honey mustard sauce. Yum. I paid thirty dollars for three tenders and honey mustard sauce. <laughs> and I only had one and a half ten, tenders. Ten dollars a tender. No, literally. <laughs> ten dollars a tender. That's gonna be their new promo marketing. Oh my ten god, that's actually tenders. not good. <laughs> I didn't even get to finish him because I felt bad because he got there. No, you should have just eaten. I always eat with Andy and Caleb. Well, I was going to eat like while I was doing my hair, but he was like, no, 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 I just eat. And I'm like, no. Aww. Even Andy eats sometimes. You shouldn't have cared. Yeah. One time Andy was doing my hair and he pulled out like, and it smelled so good because you know how like Lebanese food yeah. is. It was Lebanese like, food. It was so good. I'm excited to see what's 
this events. Like, it's like we actually catering don't know like a what we're walking dinner. into, to yeah. be honest. We just know that dress code is glamorous and we have to be there at 7. I'm not prepared for any like red carpets or anything. So. Imagine we get there and Daily Mail's like, Tasha. Tasha. I'm not that important. <laughs> Just walked. It was all on it. Yeah. We just had to walk so far to get down here. You're gonna know I'm on time because I'm Very close. Please. Oh, they have little stations here. I'm, I'm like shaking because I'm walking these hills. so today is monday it's currently 11 o'clock i got back from the event last thursday i thought i would just continue on the vlog into this week as well because i was editing it yesterday and i was like i feel like it could be a little bit longer i don't know like i want to make it like a 30 40 minute vlog for you guys i just got to brisbane i'm actually meeting with a potential new manufacturer for theola so I just want to see like all of their fabrics and also like some samples of things that they've already made before just so I can kind of see what the quality of their work is like. I did train this morning but you can't actually film in my gym so I just didn't really want to get in trouble. Couldn't be fucked with that today. Straight after this I'm heading back to the Gold Coast to my nail appointment. I'm just getting infills. I know some people are like oh my god your vlogs are all the same like you just get your nails done your hair done blah 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 but guys that's literally all i do with my life i literally just work at home or have random errands to run and they're always like the same kind of errands can't really help it that's just like what my life consists of wow this lighting is so much better than in there let's go i need to put lip balm on and i need to pay for parking as well into Woolies after getting my nails on. I'll quickly show you guys what I picked up. I got some Caramello Koalas just to snack on. This is actually very exciting. So they had different flavors of grapes there. They had these Candy Hearts one, the cotton candy ones, which I have had before. There was also like a sweet nectar flavor, but I didn't get that. I just decided to get the Candy Hearts one because these were like $7 each. I was like, I'm just gonna get two. I feel like that's a bit dramatic if I get three. Some mini apples, chocolate paddle pop sticks, 
chicken mince for boo. Um, almond milk. I saw that Emco Beauty was having 40% off sale. So I picked up this comb eyelash curler. So we'll see how that goes. Got some more coconut sugars because that's my favorite drink ever. Um, some bananas, pepper steak seasoning for James's meal prep. Some peri peri salt for James's meal prep. These lactose free yogurts, which I absolutely love. And then I also actually found these. I haven't seen these before. I actually usually shop at Coles, so maybe that's why. These are just um, little cha time bubble tea packs. Got some gum, parsley flakes. I just like using that as like a garnish for um, his meals. And then also some peri peri mild sauce for his meals again. So that was everything I picked up. And I think altogether for all of this, it came to like $80 or something, which I feel like that's not even that much. But I feel like these really just added to the cost. All right, let's give these grapes, grapes, these grapes a little red hot go. I've tried the cotton candy ones before, but not for like, I haven't had them in like a year, so. Mm. Yep. It's like the faintest cotton candy flavor, but it's still good. I don't know if it's worth $6.90 upon it though. Let's try these other ones. Mmm. Oh, I really like those. These ones have like a sour lolly taste to them. But I don't know. Again, I'm like, I don't know if it's worth almost $7 upon it. Especially not in this economy, doll. Okay, guys. I just made James his three dinner meals for the week. So this is going to be for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. On Thursday, we're going to dinner with my parents. So... Um, he doesn't need a meal for Thursday night. And then I never actually cook him meals for the weekend because um, he likes to eat out. But I made some steak. I just get my steak from the butchers at Coles. I think it's ribeye or I feel it. And then some broccolini, which I just cooked in the oven on 160 degrees for like 10 minutes. No, like 10, 15 minutes. And I've just left the steak out for like 15 minutes. Just a little, the juices, you know, soak in there. Um, and let it rest for a little bit. So I'm gonna slice this up. I also put this peppercorn sauce on top. It has really good macros actually. It's got 113 cals per serve and there's four serves in this. And it tastes amazing as well. This is literally perfect, especially when it gets heated up again. It'll cook through a little bit more. Alright. And then, with these juices, I just like to pour it over the top. Just with some extra flavour. Pepper sauce. This sauce is so yum. All right, there we have the finished result. Yum. Today is Wednesday. I do have a lot of things that I need to get done today. It's mostly like shopping because it's really the only day that I have to do that before the cruise next week. I also need to get a new laptop, so I'm gonna do that today. I think I'm gonna TikTok vlog as well. But yeah, I do need to write down in my notes everything that I need to buy, otherwise I'm gonna forget stuff, and I know I will. Here is the outfit of the day. So my set is from Mona Jane. I do believe that this is a little bit older. I'm not too sure, maybe you guys still can get it. But it does have little pockets on the side. One thing I do hate about a lot of Lorna Jane's pants, and the reason why I typically don't really shop, at, shop there, is because they have like really, really large bands, if you guys can see here. And I just don't like that look. I don't find it flattering on my body at all. But I can see for some people why they would like that. I just, I don't know. I prefer like bands that are half the size. But yeah, that's what I'm wearing. Little khaki green moment. And my shoes are just Adidas NMDs. I head to the gym first and do like a bit of a lower body, more quad focus session and get that out of the way so that I'm feeling really good for the day. It's actually really cloudy today. It's going to be raining 
the next few days, which is fairly annoying, but what can you do? Then yeah, I need to just basically come home and set up my laptop. I'm still trying to decide whether I want the Pro or if I want the MacBook Air. Obviously the Air will be way better for traveling, especially when I go to Europe, but I just need to kind of weigh out my pros and cons of both um, because I mostly need it for editing. So yeah, I don't know, I need to talk to someone there. Guys, this is literally just how I look when I'm walking around during the day. I'm sweaty man. Guys, I've just finished up at the gym. That was a super quick, like 40 minute session. Um, and I'm just gonna pop in a dish. My gym bag in the car, cause I'm not carrying that around the shops, but I've just gotta go to Dish and Zara. Guys, how nice are these change rooms? Just everything I'm trying on, I'm in Dish right now. Fashion guys. Alrighty guys, I am back in the car now, so I'll quickly show you guys what I picked up. I actually got quite a few things. I spent like a good hour and a half in the shops, um, and I'm really happy with everything that I got. So I popped in a Sephora, and I saw that the... Um, I've been wanting this shade in the Fenty um, Hydrating Lip Stain for so long, the Strawberry Sangria one. We're actually going to give her a red hot go. Okay, you guys literally can't even see me, but I remember seeing this on TikTok when it first came out oh it just like blotted off a little bit i actually think i like that like it just added a little bit of color when you blot it off do you have a little bit of lip balm on so i think i'll try it without lip balm as well sorry guys the lighting in here is dreadful i also picked up another one of my lancome idol lash mascaras i feel like i ran out of this really quickly so i'm gonna see how this goes this time around because it is like $50. Then I popped into Mecca. I got a few like little travel size things because as I said, I am going on that cruise next week. And I also actually wanted to try out these products anyway. I did actually watch a TikTok that said that Batiste dry shampoos have like this cancer causing ingredient in it. So I'm like fully wigging out about that. So I researched what doesn't have that specific ingredient. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. And the Living Proof dry shampoos came up. So I wanted to try the Perfect Hair Day dry shampoo. So I'll try that on the cruise. And then if I like it, I'll get the full size. And then I also saw, this is like a leave-in conditioner, like a dry conditioner spray. So I've got a dry shampoo and a dry conditioner. So this just like revives your hair if it's really frizzy after a few days of washing. So I feel like I'll really like these. I also just got a couple of other random little things. So I got the Morphe X Aerial Sponge. I was like testing it out in store. It was really soft. So I'm intrigued to try this. Hopefully it's better than the Beauty Blender because it was a little bit cheaper. I also just got another one of my favorite glosses. This is like if you guys are wondering what gloss I'm ever wearing in my pictures, it's this one. The OU Fancy Kylie Gloss. It's my favorite. And then lastly, I also got this Mecca Shine lipstick in the shade chic from dish i got that nude like cold to neck maxi dress that i showed you guys and then i also have a pair of jeans in here from zara the ones that i showed you guys as well and i also just picked up this black bodysuit which i already have in the white and i wear it so many times so i'm like i may as well just get the black i actually want to wear this outfit together to the airport so that's my airport outfit sorted i actually wanted those jeans as well they were really cute and i loved how it was like distressed at the top but it's currently 11 14 i still haven't eaten i'm gonna head to rabina now and get this laptop
I'm back home now. I just got changed into some PJs. Show you guys what laptop I ended up going with in a sec, but I just need to marinate James's chicken quickly because I actually forgot to do that this morning. So I thought I'd show you guys how I do it. So I've got some chicken marylands here. This is enough for two days for him. Um, and I've got some garlic powder, some onion powder, thyme. I need to get smoked paprika as well. And also Nando's peri peri sauce. I don't just literally eyeball everything. He's Lebanese, so he's used to like, you know, lots of spices, lots of flavor. So I probably put on like a little bit more than the regular person would, but he loves like, you know, lots of spices on things. So a lot of people might not like that. I don't really, like I don't like it overdone, but he likes it. So that's what we're gonna do. Some smoked paprika. And I'm just gonna um, make this with some potatoes with peri peri salt on top, nice and quick. And this is something that I put in the air fryer so it's really easy for meal prep. It's got some leftover peri peri sauce. I've got some more in the cupboard, in the cupboard for later. Now this actually doesn't have that many calories in it. There's 10 cows per serve and there's 12 serves in this whole bottle. So this whole bottle has 120 cows. That's not really that much for sauce. And he loves it. So I, you guys will see later, I pour on quite a bit. And then I'm just gonna mix all this up. Usually I do actually cut into the chicken, which I might. I just like do little diagonal cuts just so that all the spices and everything really gets in the meat. Why didn't I do this before? And now I'm doing it in my left hand too, which is not as strong as my right hand. And my right hand's dirty. This is really unsafe. Do not try this at home. That's what it looks like. And then I just let that marinate for literally as long as possible. Usually overnight, but Now, if I'm leaving it in my fridge overnight, I'll always put like a rubber band on top just to make sure it's sealed a little bit better. But I'm just gonna leave it like this. Just only for a few hours. All right, guys. Ah. All right, the lighting in here is dreadful. I end up going with the MacBook Air. I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna unbox it for you guys. Guys. This is going to be very satisfying. Ooh. Inside we've got the charger and then, and then we've got the, obviously the manual. I believe there's also stickers in here, yeah. And then we have the laptop. This is going to be so I ended up going with the midnight color, which as you guys can see, I'm getting fingerprints all over it already. I'm going to be wiping this so much, but I really love this because in some lightings it looks black and then in others it looks a bit blue and it's super light, which is great. Okay, well that's coming off. Don't you just love that sound? Hello to you too, sweetie. I ended up just going for the air in the end again because I really love the color and also I wasn't a fan of the like touchscreen touchpad. I love the keyboard on this. Is that a bit tacky? It's a bit large, isn't it? No, I don't want all those stickers on there. As you can probably hear, my air fryer is on right now. I've got the chicken Marylands in there for the Nando's chicken that I made for his lunch this week. So this is gonna be Thursdays and Fridays lunch. Um, tomorrow and the next day. Anyways, so I've got my rice cooked here. I've got some lovely chicken thighs, which I just put onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, um, salt and pepper, and oil, and that's literally it. I didn't measure anything, I just eyeball it, everything. And then with that is gonna go the rice and a little bit of sweet, what is it? Sriracha mayo. And then over here I've got the salsa, which goes on top of that as well. It's kind of like a burrito bowl. Well, it is a burrito bowl. I've got tomato, onion, coriander, lemon, 
and salt and pepper and I just keep adding more um, until I'm happy with the saltiness and the lemoniness of it. And then we have avocado here with a shitload of lime to stop it from going brown and gross. And the chicken's done. This is what it looks like. I actually way prefer like cooking three meals for him on a Sunday and then just the last two days on the Wednesday. Then I'm not in the kitchen for like five hours. Kind of like spreads the time out a little bit, you know? I'm gonna chop up the chicken. Oh, I have let it rest for like 10 minutes. Oh, that tastes so good. I just had a little piece. And then I just cut it all up. I just feel like chicken thigh tastes better when you reheat it up. I'm gonna try my best to split this evenly. I don't weigh any of his meals out or anything either. And then grab the sriracha mayo. What I'm actually gonna do first is I'm gonna take the juices and just pour a little bit on top for a little bit more flavor. Sriracha mayo. Guys, this food is looking and smelling so good. I'm just gonna pour over some more sauce. Usually when we go to Nando's, he gets like extra, extra sauce. How freaking yummy does this look? If anyone's gonna say something about the little bit of pink there that's just coming from the bone, it's not actually the meat. Looks so yum.